Hi guys, I'm back. So I've walked seen as I've had it for about eight weeks now. Bit of kind of a mini update on how it's been. Everything on the table's broke. So three arms, a diff cup and the body shell's just completely knackered. I have never broke so many parts over such a short period of time as I have with this. I have never broke so many suspension arms in the last eight weeks as I have in over three years of RC bashing now. You know, they do give you in the box with the Dragon Hammer um, a spare set of suspension arms. And I always questioned that when, when it first released. And I think now it's, it's pretty obvious as to why they put them in the box for. So these two. Where the bolt goes through to hold the suspension end on, split, they're no good. This middle one, if you watch my bash vest video, I think about five minutes, five and a half minutes in, it actually comes off the track. Um, this is the arm, so I, it should show it all, but it's pretty much ripped it all the way along and completely tore it off the hinge pin. Which is really unusual. Normally when you rip an arm off, it bends the hinge pin as well because of the strength in the plastic. That wasn't even strong enough to bend the hinge pin because the hinge pin was perfectly straight. So take that as you will. That one I actually broke on Sunday. That's out the, at the back end. So, and there's that one. And then don't even get me started on the body shell. This hasn't been on the truck for the last four weeks now. What the damage you see now is from bash fest and then two weeks worth of bashing afterwards and it's, it's completely ruined. So all the screws have pulled through. It's cracked. It's gone there, it's shattered. You know, that one's completely pulled through. You know, some people have said it's my driving, which it's really not. You know, body shells do break, they do crease, they do shatter, they're body shells, you expect it. But this body shell in front of you, it's 150 quid, brand new. It's a very expensive body shell, and it's the Lexin is too thin and too brittle. And that's just not my opinion. People have been around mine for the last couple of weeks. They've bought parts off me, they've borrowed some tools, and everybody that's held it have all said the same thing. They can't believe how thin the Lexi is on the body for the price. So that, that definitely needs some work. There is um, other options, which I've got the hammer sitting next to me. I'm going to chuck it on the table in a minute so I can have a look at it. But in terms of breakages, suspension arms are a big problem. The diff cup I'm not too worried about. But going through that many arms, these arms were in the space of three weeks, so I was breaking one arm per bash session. In fact, thinking about it now, I've broken it every time it's gone out for a bash, except for one occasion. Which, for something that is, in essence, one of the most expensive fifth scales you can buy, I don't really think it's good enough. I think the arms definitely need looking at. The arms that are on it now, they're fighting, because um, where it splits, I have managed to fix the issue. The bolts, when they go through, they, they only go in by about four millimetre, and it causes flex in the screw, so I've just drilled it out and sunk it in the arm a little bit more, and so far it seems to be holding, but I've had to fix that myself. But what can you do? Other than this, everything else on the truck has held up. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the recording, adjust the camera and then chuck the hammer on the table. So bear with me. Right, so here she is, eight weeks later. She looks a little bit different. So since the last video where I assembled it together, a um, few changes. So the engine at the time was a stock G320. It's got um, an OBR. 32.4 mod in it now. The rubbish stock body shell has been replaced with a low Silly Palmer panels. 
So out there, Lexan as well, but I think they're four times the thickness of the stock body shell. So I don't think I'll be breaking them in a hurry. The biggest visual change though is the wheels. They're, um, they're 230 millimeters tall. The stock ones are 195. So these are the same size as the Kraken Trepidor tires of the Vector 5. Who copied who? Don't know, don't care. They are completely different tread patterns. The only thing they have in common is, is the height, but loads of different tires are the same heights, so whatever. So for comparison, here's one of the stock tires. In fact, that's not so, let me roll it forward. And there's one of the stock tires. Massive difference. But with extra tyres come a reduction in acceleration and an increase in top speed. It will break 50 mile an hour now quite easily, but it takes quite a while to get to get there. Um, accelerations, even on the stock wheels, isn't the best, but that's the exhaust pipe. The exhaust pipe, the, the pipe it comes with is bloody awful. Um, it's so far up in the rev range by the time you go onto the pipe that yeah if you want one of these for speed yeah don't don't buy one of these if you want acceleration because you're not going to get it um, shock socks and an to air for the air filter apart from that it's unchanged it is up for sale and it's been up for sale a few times I don't know the problem it has is that I keep comparing it to the King Motor X2 that I had. I had that X2 for 18 months, didn't break a single suspension arm, all the hubs was, were the ones it came with. I think 95% of the bearings were the ones it came with at the box as well. It was a, it, it was a solid bomb proof RC and it's half the cost of one of these. And I think this is the problem with the hammer. People are going to expect a lot from it because of the price. I know I did. And I go through I go through stages where I absolutely love it and I go through other stages where I don't and I want to get rid of it. But I mean it's been up for sale for the last two days, but I've taken it down now because there's a there's a few more going up. So and it's the wrong time of the month now as well. No one's got the money to buy one of these at the start of the month because they've paid all the bills and things now. So if it does get listed, it'll be at the end of the month again. But um, yeah, it's a, t it's a tough one. I mean, I love it looks, you know, I still think it's the best looking fifth scale on the market, bar none, you know, nothing looks as good as this does. But it's just, it's just little, little issues on it that really annoy me with it. You know, acceleration is a big problem with this truck. Um, I had a drag race with a, um, with a 30 degree north DMT with a stock 29cc in it. Bear in mind, this is a, you know, an OBR32. On the stock tyres, I got absolutely hammered by the DMT. Excuse the pun. But it wasn't even close. I, it, this was just left for dead. Once it got wound up and it got going, it easily caught up and took the DNT. But round a track where we race and it's all it's all acceleration, it, it was last. It was dead last. You know, as much as I tried to keep the engine on the RPMs, it couldn't do. So I think its last saving grace is going to be the tuned pipe that Olimat um, in Australia is going to release for it. He's done the testing. He's um, prototyped it. So I think it's just a matter of waiting for the pipes to get built and shipped now. That's if I still have it by then. Because at the minute I am 50-50 as to whether to keep it or whether to get to get rid of it and build me something else. I mean I was going to take the body shell off and show you it, but underneath the shell it's literally the exact same it was when I built it. All all the differences of the engine, which you've all seen a 32 is an hour we are before and the panels and the tyres that's the bulk of the changes
So yeah, will I still have it in the next three to four weeks? That's going to be the question. It's not exactly setting my world on fire. So that was pretty much it guys. It's just literally 10 minutes of me rambling on chatting shit about it. Just to see how it's how it's going at the moment, how it's getting on. If you do want one, buy one, don't let me put you off. I will, however, say, if you watch my videos with this, if you think I drive it rough, you'll get on absolutely fine with one of these. If you're looking at my driving and a few of the crashes I've had and you think I drive this like a pussy, I probably would think twice about it. Because if I can break three suspension arms and a diff cup in eight weeks, driving it the way I do, if you drive it harder, who knows what you'll end up breaking with it. And at the moment in the UK, there's only one place that has spares. So if I break something major and it's not in stock, I could be waiting weeks for parts for this. So that's another thing to bear in mind as well. Part support and spare parts. Luckily, I've not broken anything major, but you never know. So as always, any questions, ask away. And, um, and I'll do my best to answer it. So look forward to some more videos of it soon, guys. Um, I have got some, but I've got to go through it all on the computer. So speak to you all soon.